私の好みじゃない私は自らの力で殺す死ぬがいいレッドヘッド Welcome to the Fighterverse where we delve deep into the heart of the battle and today we unveil the enigma behind one of the most nefarious villains of the King of Fighters series Rugal Bernstein. Emerging from the shadows in The King of Fighters 94, this insidious crime lord is infamous for his chilling ability to transform formidable fighters into living trophies. But what sets this malevolent character apart, making him the epitome of Pearl in The King of Fighters saga? And why is he hailed as the most formidable and unforgiving boss to ever grace the world of fighting games? Without further ado, let me welcome you to the Fighterverse. Rugal stands as an embodiment of brutal power and unwavering cruelty. His heart knows no compassion, and he shows no restraint when it comes to eliminating those who dare to oppose him. With a grim sense of pride, he parades the lifeless husks of his most formidable opponents, encased in metal as haunting trophies of his conquests. Even more chilling, Rugal doesn't hesitate to snuff out lives merely to spite his rivals, painting a portrait of a character driven by a relentless and unyielding determination. In a stark departure from most other KOF villains, Rugal possesses a chilling and sadistic sense of humor in his actions. His victory quotes are often laced with snarky insults directed at his defeated opponents, revealing a cruel delight in psychological warfare. To him, the act of extinguishing human life seems less like a grim necessity and more akin to a twisted pastime, painting him as an Even more menacing and unnerving character within the KOF universe, Rugal's arrogance knows no bounds. As he considers himself nothing less than a deity among humans, his overbearing pride extends to his sore loser tendencies. When faced with defeat at the hands of his adversaries, he refuses to accept it gracefully. Instead, he opts to trigger the self destruct mechanism of the very base he occupies, with the intention of dragging his opponents into the abyss along with him. Ironically, this penchant for self destruction unfolds not only in KOF 94, but also in subsequent editions like KOF 98 and KOF 2002. Underscoring his stubborn refusal to acknowledge defeat. Rugal draws his power primarily from his formidable physical prowess and a unique talent for mimicking the attacks of others. After acquiring the Orochi power, Rugal's abilities surge to deadly levels. Yet, there is a perilous catch. He can only harness a fraction of the Orochi's might, lest he succumbs to its devouring and annihilating force, a fate he narrowly escaped in 95. Despite his revival, Rugal persists in utilizing the borrowed Orochi blood abilities, steadily honing his mastery over them. However, he remains equally vulnerable to the ominous influence, a reminder of the constant danger lurking within his newfound strength. And what is Orochi power? Well, for those who are not familiar with this, in the King of Fighters series, Orochi power refers to a supernatural and incredibly potent force associated with the ancient, malevolent being known as Orochi. Orochi is depicted as an immensely powerful and sinister entity that has existed for centuries. This power is Often characterized by its ability to corrupt and enhance individuals, granting them extraordinary strength, speed, and destructive abilities. Rugal possesses a formidable skill set centered around the manipulation of energy and the creation of a slashing aura, which finds its most notorious expression in his deadly technique, the Genocide Cutter. Rugal's combat style is a fusion of diverse martial arts, incorporating elements from both the Haikyoku Saikin and the House of Strolheim disciplines, which are famously associated with Geese Howard and Wolfgang Krauser, respectively. And what is Haikyoku? Haikyu Gaosin is an ancient and reverse kung fu style, finding its roots in an ancient scroll that has been passed down through generations from master to chosen disciple. While the scroll meticulously records numerous techniques, it withholds its final secrets, which are reserved for direct transmission from master to student. Practitioners of Haikyu Gu Saiken are expected to embody not only exceptional physical prowess, but also possess strong mental fortitude, positive discipline, and a genuinely good hearted nature, free from the grip of negative emotions. This martial arts teaching. Are contained within three distinct scrolls. The first scroll imparts the combat techniques of Haikyoku Saiken, including the art of energy channeling and various combat skills. The second scroll, which lies hidden within the House of Strohem, is under the possession of Wolfgang Krauser, focuses on recuperation, bestowing not only healing powers, but also enhancing physical strength. The third and final scroll, when united with its counterparts, Harbors the closely guarded secrets of immortality. Strolheim Castle, an iconic location in the Fatal Fury series, stands as the ancestral seat of the Strolheim family. Nestled amidst the majestic German mountains, this formidable castle serves as the residence of the formidable Wolfgang Krauser. What makes it even more intriguing is that within its ancient walls, 
Krauser has established his very own orchestra, a lavish touch revealed in the games Fatal Fury 2 and Fatal Fury Special. As the King of Fighters 94 took shape during development, the creative minds behind the game explored various ideas for the final boss character. Among the considered designs were a masked dominatrix wielding a menacing spiked whip, a long-haired gentleman dressed in formal attire, and an initial concept featuring a muscular figure sporting a mask and a distinctive checkboard sash around his waist. According to SNK's anniversary website, Rugal was initially conceived as the epitome of the mightiest and most malevolent boss character. His name drew inspiration from the anime space battleship Yamato, particularly the antagonist Lugal. Toyohisa Tanabe, one of the creators, designs Rugal's fighting style to accentuate his status as the series' inaugural boss character. He even admitted to pushing the limits with the devastating power of the genocide card move in The King of Fighters 94. The development team's deep admiration for villains played a pivotal role in shaping Rugal's character in The King of Fighters 94. As his character evolved, the initial concept of an in-game team featuring series bosses Geese Howard and Wolfgang Grosser was discarded. This decision was made to place even greater emphasis on Rugal as the central antagonist, allowing him formidable presence to shine without distraction. The stage where players confront Rugal in battle was meticulously crafted to mirror his distinctive personality. The development team contemplated a colossal mecha, designed to resemble Rugal himself, as the backdrop for this climatic encounter. However, this concept was eventually transformed into an awe-inspiring aircraft character, chosen to better encapsulate the essence of Rugal's character in Challenge. In a fascinating tidbit from the King of Fighters 94 developer interview, the team initially toyed with the concept of Rugal being able to learn any move after seeing it once, a character described as the cheapest bastard ever. However, they ultimately abandoned this idea due to memory constraints. But Rugal's legacy as an iconic and formidable boss character lives on. Thank you for joining us today on the Fighterverse, where we've explored the enigmatic world of Rugal, the notorious villain from the King of Fighters series. We've delved into his sadistic nature, his mastery of Orochi power, and his deadly fighting style inspired by Hakyoku Saiken and the House of Strohan. Don't forget to like this video if you found it intriguing and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into your favorite gaming characters and worlds. Your feedback and comments are always welcome, so share your thoughts down below. And if you're hungry for more gaming lore or want to dive into other captivating topics, check out our playlist of related content. Your support fuels our passion and we're grateful for each and every one of you. Keep exploring, keep gaming, and keep discovering the secrets of your favorite characters. Stay tuned for more epic adventures in the Fighterverse. Until next time, welcome to the center stage.